Hi everyone, I'm Steve here with David Wright, and we are going to talk about TRT. I, I did a survey on YouTube, and 54% of people said TRT, testosterone replacement therapy, taking testosterone, is not safe. 46% have said Yes, it is safe. And I've had some doctors respond, so it's been a, a good little survey. But first, David um, has completed his contest, and you are a champion. So tell us about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks, Steve. So, yeah, just this Saturday, the uh, August 10th that just passed by here, did the Tahoe Show, 2024 20, Tahoe Show. Um, yeah, where I got uh, the first place in the Men's Physique Masters 35. Got this really cool. I love these uh, medals. They're super hefty. But yeah, first place in Masters 35 and over in Men's Physique. Um, and then third place in Open Men's Physique. Yeah, so we're, we're going to get to the testosterone. Um, but I just want to say for people who out there who do shows, um, it's an accomplishment and it's something to be proud of because of the discipline that it takes to try to get to the best place you can at a certain day. So you're really competing against yourself, whether you're the only one in the contest or whether you take last, uh, it's still an accomplishment because of the discipline that it takes, don't you think? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It takes a lot of discipline just to get to that stage and be the best that you can be. I mean, I've done the Tahoe show as an example. This is my third time on that stage. It's the first one I ever did in 2015. Um, did it again in 2019 and then came this year. Best I've ever looked by far. You know, I had a great time. It was the least stressful because, you know, I was really prepared for it. Um, but yeah, you have to, you know, you have to have all that discipline. And you're right. It's you competing really against yourself. I've had times where there's one other person or where there's just me this time, there was seven in one of my classes and four in the other, uh, including myself. So, you know, you're always going to be competing against yourself in the terms of you want to be the best that you can be. You want to be better than you were last time, you know, you know, different changes in your physique, stuff like that. And at the end of this, we'll, we'll talk about where you can go follow David on social media and see some of the pictures and so on. So he doesn't look like he does in that shirt. So, uh, so testosterone, I know you are on testosterone replacement and you're what you're in your forties, mid forties, early forties, 42. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm in my early sixties. I've been on testosterone replacement for 10 years. The reason um, my doctor originally put me on testosterone replacement is because my testosterone was low. Now, I didn't have any symptoms. Um, so I didn't know my testosterone was low. I was about 50, 52. And I didn't know my testosterone was low because I didn't have any symptoms. Uh, no brain fog. I had plenty of energy. Uh, my sex drive was normal, libido normal, all of that stuff. So he didn't say, okay, you don't have any symptoms. We're just going to let it go. The, the reason he put me on testosterone is because it was low. Was it super duper low? No, it was probably uh, 275. Um, but his concern was heart disease because now I got to say, it's about half and half. Half the people in the survey think uh, testosterone replacement is not safe. The other half, basically a little less than half, think it is. So there's so many different opinions out there. There's, and I've listened to probably 20 different doctors on this. You know, should you give blood on TRT? What should your you know, blood tests be your blood work and all that stuff. And when should you do it? Should it only be if you have symptoms? You know, how much should you take? What's the high end and all that? There's just tons and tons of uh, opinions, but everyone is different. But that is the initial reason why my doctor 
put me on TRT because he feels and many doctors feel that low testosterone is a heart disease risk. So how about you, David? Yeah, so about five years ago um, is about when I started uh, being prescribed TRT for my doctor. And it really started mainly because I was already doing, you know, kind of uh, bodybuilding shows and things like that. I had already done a few. And, you know, it really started with my coach actually saying, you know, have you ever had it checked before? Because, you know, the amount you're disciplined, the amount that you're working out, all these things, you probably should be growing a little bit faster, a little bit more. I was in, of course, my my late 30s uh, at the time. And so I went and got blood work done just to see. I'd never had that done before. I was in the very low 200s, um, which of course is extremely low for somebody in their, you know, even late 30s. And so, you know, my doctor said, well, let's let's get you going here, you know, even to a, a regular, you know, level, which six to 800 or so is pretty good um, for, you know, somebody who has normal testosterone in the normal range for most, uh, most doctors would say. So, that's what kind of got me into the doctor to begin with, because I didn't really have similar to what you were saying, Steve, I didn't really have, you know, the brain fog or, or lack of energy. I mean, I was in the gym all the time. And my doctor had said, you know, if you didn't work out all the time and have disciplined nutrition and all that, it goes, I, I don't know what your level would be. It'd probably yeah. be next to nothing because when you're working out, especially, obviously I'm, you know, working out more than like the average gym, you know, member and stuff like that. But the amount I was working out produces testosterone because you're, you know, using the muscles, you're building the muscles, you're eating right, all those things. And I should have been at much higher, especially because of that. So got started on that and kind of have been on it ever since. And it's not at a, you know, extreme amounts or anything like that, but, um, you know, just a regular kind of dosage to keep me normal, normal. Um, so that so that you can build muscle, you can have that sustained energy, especially now in my, you know, early 40s. But um, it's made a it's made a huge difference in in my goals and stuff like that. Yeah. And you certainly feel better now. You guys, I do have an affiliate with Royal Medical. You can check them out uh, in the description and you can use the promo code vitality one. If you don't have a doctor that you can talk to about this because we're not doctors, don't listen to us. We're just giving you our personal um, opinions and experience. Um, they can talk to you about it and write your prescription, do the proper blood work and monitor you correctly. And it's a nice discount. You get like $45 off. So the first month's like $195, but then it's like $150 for the next four or five months. And um, they that that includes all of your blood work all your consultation and your medication. So that's a pretty good deal, but that's someone that you can talk to. Uh, you can use, uh, there's a phone number down there um, and a person you can talk to. You can also talk to other clinics. You can talk to your own doctor. And I recommend that you talk to at least two, uh, if not three to get opinions so that you can apply your own opinion on this. Now, my opinion is, if you look at the survey that I did, is TRT safe? 54% of the popular or the respondents said no. My opinion is not only is it safe, it's healthy. You are putting yourself, it sounds like you agree, you're putting your, or it looks like you agree, um, you're putting yourself in a healthier position and a safer position, in my opinion, and most of the physicians that I've talked to say this. They say that if it's low, you're at health risk for multiple things. And they know what blood work to monitor and to test. And that's uh, something that's really important to check and monitor everything. So that's my opinion. Um, it, not only is it safe, in many cases, it's healthy. It's the smart thing to do. And testosterone naturally occurs in your body. So all you're doing is you're replacing the testosterone that your body doesn't produce anymore. Now, a lot of people say, oh, it's not safe. Why? Because it can be abused. 
Right. If you do too much of anything, it can be abused. And, you know, I'm on a very small dose. I'm on about 100 milligrams a week, which is a very, very small dose, but my body really responds to it. And I think it's because something that you said, I'm always working out. I'm eating right. My protein is high. So my body is engaged in things that naturally bring up your testosterone. So I think that's part of the reason why I can get away with such a small dose. Now, as I let that dose creep up, I, you know, eight years, nine years later, I started to get some water retention and wasn't feeling really good. So one of the doctors that I talked to about this says, bring it down a little bit. So I did, and that corrected everything. And now I'm feeling great again. It's not like I was feeling bad. I was just, I could tell my ankles were kind of holding water. You know, I didn't have the vascularity in my legs and my arms like I normally do. So when I dropped it back down a little bit, um, all that went away. And uh, I was talking to a friend and he, he asked me, he goes, do you peek out on this? Of course you do. You're going, no matter what you're doing, you're going to hit a peak. You're working out, you're taking a supplement, you're taking testosterone, you're going to hit a peak uh, where there is, um, you know, no more, no more increased benefit. So taking more, there is a point of no return where taking more is not going to do anything. It's just going to make it worse. So I think people get a little hung up on those results and they don't want that that benefit to stop or those increased benefits to go away so they increase it that's not the answer um it, it, just, it doesn't work that way we all age and we're trying to prevent the effects of aging by using trt so and you know, maybe some of those people saying it's not safe, maybe it's dangerous because people just, they want more and more and more because you do feel great on it. Taking more is not the answer. So, um, I mean, what do you think about all those things, David? Yeah, I mean, I've heard a lot of that, especially being in, in the bodybuilding world. Um, you know, there's a lot going on out there. I mean, you just even go out there and Google, you know, TRT, you know, safe, and like you'll come up with, thousands of probably tens of thousands of, you know, web pages and columns and different things. My opinion is, you know, for, for myself and my own experience, you know, it's made a huge difference for me. It's, you know, to the point where, you know, I'm able to do what I like to do, which is of course, compete in those types of things and do bodybuilding and, and all of that without having extreme levels of this stuff, because to your point, um, anything can be abused at any point in time. You know, if it's, uh, you know, some people say, well, it's a performance enhancing. Well, yes, it does enhance because if, if I'm at 200 level of testosterone and that brings my body's overall testosterone to say 800, yeah, that's definitely enhanced and there's nothing wrong with that. The difference is when you do have people who take, you know, twice, uh, probably twice or more, of what I have, which is a, you know, natural medicinal level with a doctor who, again, of course, as you, you mentioned, you know, we're monitoring my blood work, you know, every couple months, that type of thing, making sure everything's good. But you have people who do abuse that, who take all sorts of that, plus other things that aren't even TRT related. So people really conflate the two and say, well, TRT is not safe. In my opinion, as long as it's being utilized appropriately, um, it, it's completely safe. Now, does that mean it's safe for everybody? Of course, to your point, talk to your, your doctor. We're not doctors, but you know, you want to make sure you're taking a safe dosage. You're not overdoing it. And yeah, when you get that peak to where maybe you're not getting any additional benefits anymore, you know, people do want to just ramp it up and, you know, take it up to the, you know, whatever level they think they need to go to. And, and that's not really the answer either. So that's why it's really important to, to, to be with a doctor or physician, some kind of a healthcare provider who can, get you to where you should be for your age and, and everything else and, and kind of, you know, feel the benefits and feel the effects of that and really monitor it because it gets a really bad name in the fitness industry a lot because of the fact that people use all sorts of different amounts of it mixed with other things that are not regular TRT that are more of anabolic steroid. That's not even legal type of thing, you know, mixing all sorts of crazy stuff. So that's where TRT just kind of gets mixed in there. And people think it's all all terrible. And and I will tell you right now, um, 
you know, the physicians that I've talked to and that I've also been, been with myself as a patient, it's the complete opposite. So it just really depends on, on the knowledge that, that folks have. And that's why it's good to know for sure, you know, what are we talking about when we're talking about TRT and what does that include? No, it doesn't include all of the crazy illegal stuff that people will take. Because, for example, my bodybuilding show, I was not the biggest guy out there. I've taken nine years to get to where I'm at right now. Had I been on other enhancements that are not TRT, that are, you know, in addition to, heck, I could be a lot bigger. But, you know, I choose to, to just be where I'm at and work really hard and, and be where I'm at. And I'm proud of that. But that's where it kind of gets a really bad rap. So in my opinion, Steve, I think TRT is perfectly safe um, yeah. and healthy, um, again, to your point. Uh, as long as it's utilized correctly and not abused. Yeah. And you, you know, that, that's a funny comment too. people going, you're enhanced. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you think, you know, instead of uh, 300 testosterone, it's 900 or higher in my case, because uh, my body really responds. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm enhanced. That's kind of the point. <laughs> Right. And, and that's the thing is when people talk about enhanced and you know, natural, not natural, enhanced, not enhanced, it's like, think about what enhanced means to your point. You know, I was at low 200s. I mean, that's barely anything. You know, now, I mean, right before the show, probably around a thousand or so, which is actually pretty high, even for somebody my age. But but as we get away from the show, we're dropping it down a little bit. So because it doesn't need to stay that high all the time. Um, but it's not how high did you say close. you were? Um, last time I had my blood test, it was about 1100 or so. So it's really high. But again, you also have to take into consideration, not only the testosterone, but the, you know, the workouts and intense workouts I've been doing. So all of those things together, when we look at it in, in the grand scheme of things, there are people who are off the charts. I mean, way higher than that for however long they do it with all these other things. So when people go, oh my gosh, you're enhanced. That's, you know, you're taking all this stuff. No. You can, you know, just testosterone replacement therapy and medicinal levels. Again, I like to stress that because it's not from a back alley, you know, sales place where you shouldn't be getting stuff. It's at a doctor's office twice a week, you know, getting those very measured uh, injections, you know, and that's the, that's the best way to do that, in my opinion, is, again, be monitored and, and that way you can make sure you're healthy as well. For sure. You want to go to a reputable, qualified clinic who does this, who specializes in this. And there's a lot of them out there. If you're in the Northern Nevada area, just reach out to me because we have um, a woman right down the road who does hormone replacement and other things. You could hit her office almost with a rock from where you're sitting. Yep. So, and I, I respect her and I trust her and she's been doing this for a number of years. So if you're local, you know, talk to me or talk to David, find out what he's doing and we can tell you what we're doing locally. Now I do use Royal Medical uh, because they, they ship it and all that stuff. So uh, that, that's where I go. Um, but you're, you know, if your testosterone's pushing, you know, 2000, over 2000, now you're getting in the unsafe zone. Right. And that's what some of these guys are doing. And maybe that's why so many people said it's not safe. Because if you're getting up to those levels and some of these guys that are enhanced are taking all kinds of ridiculous drugs, oh, yeah. you know, that are definitely harmful, probably for your heart and um, your liver and all kinds of other things. So mm -hmm. that is not a normal level to be at 2000 or, or higher than that. Um, so that's where you're, in my opinion, you, you might be getting into, well, you're getting into a danger zone if you leave it up there too high. Absolutely. And, but we can be enhanced on a lot of things. I take creatine. I'm enhanced. Why do I take creatine? It enhances me. <laughs> it enhances my workouts. It enhances my physique, my older body physique, you know, getting up there in my 60s now. But so a lot of things that people do are going to enhance your performance. So that's right. why they do it. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with it. Well, I'll tell you, so, too, just real quick uh, with creatine. That's I mean, that could be a whole nother video. 
But that's one of those other things that's out there, like TRT, is it safe, is it unsafe? Creatine, again, my opinion, but there's plenty of studies on this for years. It's probably one of the safest things that you could take. It's very beneficial, but there's a lot of people out there who think, oh my gosh, it's dangerous and all these other things. So just make sure, do your research, you know, talk to people, you know, just get the information. Yeah, we'll have to do a video on creatine, but it's, um, you, all of you out there listening, you have to decide for yourself. Mm -hmm. It's your body. You have to make the choices on what you put in it and what you don't put in it and what your exercise is. You have to do it. And the great thing is you get to make those choices about what you eat, whether you do hormone replacement or what kind of medications you're going to take. If you're going to take a medication for this or that or blood pressure, I don't do that. I don't take any medications like that. I, I, there's plenty of natural things that work fine for me in my 60s. I will never take um, a statin. That's just me. I, I don't take medications. I don't. Um, I like the natural way, but everyone gets to decide. And if someone wants to make a choice to take a medication that they think is in their best interest to lower their cholesterol. If you think that's important, some people don't even think that's important. A lot of doctors don't think that's important. You get to make your own choice. So make sure you back up your own choices with your own research. Mm -hmm. So, and you know what? You can, you can just search a lot of things on YouTube, search TRT on YouTube. You'll get all kinds of good stuff with all kinds of doctors and different opinions. Search creatine, search these things on YouTube because you'll get a lot of different opinions from professionals that do this. And I get a lot of my information just from YouTube um, doing searches. And then I don't believe everybody that I hear on YouTube, but I get to make my own choices. So David, if uh, people want to see how you've done in your show, um, and what's going on with you, with your workouts and with your training? How do they follow you on social media? Yeah, so they can go to Instagram at David Wright underscore fitness. That's where I have all of my training, uh, my show updates, my show photos from just this last show and all the others and the prep for that. And um, my future show at the end of next month. And then um, uh, at Wright Fitness Training, that's where I'm creating some content, going to start creating some more content for personal training. So more on the, the personal training side for that particular site. All right. And as, as most of you know, David is a personal trainer at Fitness for 10 in Carson City. We just got a new uh, body scanner that we're really excited about. So go down and say hi to him if you're in the area. So thanks for being with us, David. Thank you, Steve.